All right, all you Ethereum lovers, you simpletons, you small-minded creatures, you people that are barely qualified to flush my toilet. And I mean that. If I saw one of you come on my house with your arguments and you said, Alex, I will pay you to flush your toilet. I wouldn't let you do it because your stupidity would lower my IQ every single time I take a shit. You, I'm addressing you. I will put my money where my mouth is. Ethereum's price right now is $3,234. If, and I absolutely mean this, by the end of the year, we're going to come back and check the peak prices of all these coins. We're going to check the peak prices. If the peak price from this point is a better ROI than the peak price from this point for ADA or Polkadot or OGN, OGN, a dirty altcoin, I am betting big right here. I'm really putting myself out there. If the peak price is a better ROI than the peak prices of either of those coins, I will literally get an Ethereum tattoo on my foot. I will go to the tattoo parlor with glee on my face, say I was wrong and do it and do it. And let's make this even more interesting. Go to my Twitter at ZSS Becker. I put a post. It should be very obvious what it is. It's the one saying, here's the Ethereum bet. You, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm wrong, go put a one underneath that. And the only deal is if I'm right on December 31st, 2021, you have to post, I am a little ETH cuck boy, unqualified to flush toilets, and Alex Becker is much, 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 for muches, better at crypto trading than me. That's the deal. Go place your bets if you think I'm so wrong. Because in this video, what I want to talk about is why I will never buy Ethereum in this bull run. I will never touch it from a purely money-making perspective because the technology is a mute point. I don't care. No one cares. Literally no one cares. The technology, whatever. I'm going to talk simply from a money-making and risk standpoint. And I'm going to make it very, very, very clear in this video because every video I posted, specifically the last one, everyone's like, Alex, you were wrong about Ethereum. Alex, Ethereum's going to 10K. Alex, you were wrong about Ethereum. Alex, you said Ethereum wouldn't do anything. Alex, Ethereum's going to 10K. Ethereum's going to 10K. Ethereum's going to 10K. You colossal eating, baboon breastfed, malnourished morons. Have you counted how many times in this channel I've said Ethereum is going to 10K? I've said it more times than the IQ points that you have. You, literally, you can go back to my channel. Here it is. But it can happen. Okay? And so, we're going to be conservative and reasonable. 10K ETH by the floor. I'm kind of questionable at this point. But it can happen. We're looking at a $2,700 Ethereum right now. Realistically, this could go to 10000 this bull run. I really don't like Ethereum. And I don't feel comfortable at all with Ethereum over five years. I do think it's going to be great for this bull run. But this Ethereum, I think, is so overhyped. And it's not delivering any returns. And I think it could go to like 10000 this bull run. But the problem... Now, granted, I know your IQ points are within the 15 range. That's why you invest in Ethereum. I get it. I totally get it. If I was as stupid as you, I would look at what everybody else is doing and do it too. That's why your life probably sucks. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Seriously. Uh, but I'm going to keep on with this rant. But seriously, I have said Ethereum is going to 5K. I have said Ethereum is going to 10K. I would say at least 100 times on this channel. I am not wrong about Ethereum. I am very, very, very correct about Ethereum. I've literally said it's going to 10K, literally more times than probably you have in the comments section. But you need to understand why I do not invest in Ethereum because if you do, I feel it will actually help you just a little bit in this market. Am I the world's greatest crypto trader? No. Not even close. I'm terrible at it. But there's just a general common sense point of view to this that isn't that hard to understand. So let me tell you, just from a money-making, risk-based point of view, why I don't buy Ethereum, and I never will. And I'm completely okay if it goes to 5K or 10K. That's fine. I predict that will happen. I still want nothing to do with it. Here is why. All right, guys, so let's just let's just get into this. This is going to be a little bit less heated way because, frankly, guys, I don't care if you, you buy Ethereum. I don't care if you love Ethereum. I want you to make money, okay? I play a little bit of a character on this channel and on Twitter, but all my friends invest in Ethereum. I know you probably invest in Ethereum because you think it's awesome or something like that. I don't think it is. And the reason why I'm making this video is two reasons. One, because people uh, harass me all day about my views on Ethereum. And I like, I get it if you think that I said Ethereum's never gonna go past $2,000. Like, I get it where you're coming from if you think I said it. I haven't said that. And frankly, I, I, I just want a video in one place. So when people are like this, people can just be like, dude, look at the video, calm down. Put your pants back on. Stop waving your dick around. All right. That's not what he's saying. This is what exactly what he's saying all in one place. 
And I get that people yelling at me on the internet is part of putting videos in the internet. I'm cool with it. I just want an answer, okay? You guys can keep yelling and waving your dicks at me. It's fine. I don't care. It's, it's actually funny. And I enjoy, I enjoy our Ethereum rivalry. It's, it's cool. But I think if you understood what I'm pointing out right now, and I think if you're getting in the crypto and you understand what I'm pointing out right now, you'd, you're going to make a lot more money. And if I understand what I'm going to lay out right now, I'd be up so much more in this bull run. That's why I don't touch Ethereum anymore for these exact reasons. So I'm going to kind of speed, speed through these, okay? So there's four or five debates I'm going to attack right here. First off, the risk to reward. Then I'm going to talk about what if we bought it in January? What if we, what if we compare it to my trades even? My goofy, goofy trades. And by the way, guys, the point of this video and the point of all my videos is never copy my trades or listen to me for crypto advice. The point of my videos are mainly to point out my mistakes in crypto so you don't make them and also give my general things that I've learned, which in the crypto market, what you need to understand is that most people are not armed with the basic knowledge of understanding of how the market works. If you just have the basic understanding of how the market works, you're going to stand such a better chance of not making stupid decisions. I made tons of stupid decisions early on because I didn't understand how the market worked. And if you just understand these stupid decisions and you get a general vibe for how the market works, you're going to do much better, period. That's what the channel's for. Okay, I also just enjoy talking about crypto. I have nothing to sell you. I don't care if you copy my trades. I'm not building a career out of this. I own a software company. This is what I do for fun. And I enjoy trading crypto for fun. So I talk about it. The end. But let's just compare my goofy A trades to it because I'm going to mock you severely for yelling at me for trading out of Ethereum. Okay? I love you. I love you. Just keep that in mind. All right? I'm a big fan of all you guys. Now, we're going to talk about the total return and we're going to talk about the tech. I, if you take all these in mind, I don't see what reality you're living in where Ethereum's a good buy. And that's why I don't touch it because I don't buy things I don't think are good buys. All right? Most, most important thing right here is risk to reward. So I'm gonna run through this because it usually takes me like 15 minutes to explain. I'm gonna be straight up with you. The biggest threat in the bull run, if we're talking about top 100 coins and investments, is not the volatility. Ethereum is a little less volatile, not much less volatile than all the top 50, top 100 coins. It's really not. If we look at like the dips on Kasama or something like that, it's really not that much more clean, okay? We see the same dips, we see the same kind of drops, sort of this is a horrible example but we see the same type of drops right here. we see like from from 540 to 300 500 we see like a nice 20 percent drop here we're seeing these same exact type of drops uh, let's see if we can look at a good one right here i mean kusama's been a beast this morning this is a horrible example uh but look kusama's less volatile than ethereum is sometimes all right but that's not the point if you look at any coin you're going to see 30 50 percent drops we go and look at ethereum we're gonna see these 30, 50% drops. The thing you need to understand is that drops are harmless. They don't really matter because if things keep going up, volatility is harmless. Something going up vol in a volatile way is harmless. That's, that's a very basic understanding of crypto. The problem and the big threat in crypto is not the volatility, at least in the top 100. If you're comparing this to chain games or SPI, I get your argument and I agree. Okay, those went up 300% and then went down 150%. That's volatile, that can be dangerous. Okay, the big threat in the bull run is this thing right here. It's the crash. You wanna know the best way to avoid the crash? Get out of the bull run early. Don't sit deep into the bull run. Now my problem with Ethereum is in order for me to see a three to four X gain from where I got out at around $2,000, I'm gonna to have to go deep into the bull run. All right, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 is the realistic number. We could see 15, 20. I don't like dealing with over optimistic numbers when I'm when I have a lot of money moving around I just don't want to do that so yeah I believe I'm with you I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 15k and there's there's another argument to that as well if it hits 15k <laughs> these other coins down here are going to hit way better returns they're going to do way better multiples in Ethereum that's not a controversial statement but let's look at my big problem with it I want to avoid the biggest risk of all, which is, in my opinion, going deep into the bull run. I want to get out Q3. I'm not riding this to Q4. I'm not doing it. Okay? And you need to understand my objectives and where I'm coming from at this point. If we look at the one year on this, I got in the Bitcoin literally before May. I was in in March when it was $5,000. Ethereum was $100. You can see what it's done since then. Around January, where I flipped to uh, Ethereum, I was already up. I think I believe Bitcoin was... Where was it at in, in January? And you just need to understand this. This, this, is, this is why I, I move and make the trades that I do. 
All right, Bitcoin was at 33,000. So I was at 6X then, okay? Then I moved into Ethereum. <clears throat> and guys, I'm gonna pause it real quick because I just need to add one other thing to this. People are thinking that this peak right here before the crash is just gonna happen. There were about 500 things that could happen between now and the next six months before where we think this supposed peak could be at. First off, we could just run out of money because there's literally... 1.3 trillion dollars more than there was last bull run. We are up in multiples of three of last bull run. If we're going to go to the multiples of five and six, we're going to have to see a five trillion something dollar multi market cap. We could just run out of money or things could run into steam. <laughs> okay. People just be like, nope, nope. It's, it's up. It's up literally uh, 10x from uh, 500 million. No, we're just not putting any more money in. We could see all sorts of things. The government, U.S. government could come together. China could do something crazy. There is so many things that could happen outside of it, the bull run just slowing down and people not want, just, just panic selling out of it. Like there is so many other things that could happen. So no, I don't want to go deep into the damn bull run. Okay? Hell, Vitalik could just die or go, go on a bender. You know, he is like in his early 20s. Dude could just pick up banging chicks with his billion dollars and getting high all weekend. You don't know that's not going to happen. There is no guarantee that all this is going to go according to plan. So first off, let's just address that fucking elephant in the room. Anybody who's like, oh, yep, just going to go clean in December. Yeah, okay. That's like saying you're going to go to the club and that girl you're going to talk to is just going to walk right up to you and make out with you and say, take me home, girl or guy. I don't care what you bang. But like, come on. Like, no, it's never going to go according to plan. So let's also factor that in. Jesus. Ethereum very, very early January, okay? Around the, the $700 to $900 mark, okay? Did nearly a 2X right then. I was up a lot, okay? And this point right here, I had to ask myself the same question I'm asking myself now. I want to 5X my portfolio from here. So how can I do that? How can I do that? And I, at this point, I started understanding how the crashes are going to look. And I say, how can I do that without going deep into this bull run? Because I don't want to go into December. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, we're going to see this parabolic rise, but yeah, we're probably not going to catch it. And I don't need to catch this parabolic rise to get parabolic games at this point. I don't. If I get a 5X, I am sitting so damn pretty. It's hilarious. Okay, so I'm not, I didn't get in here in, in March, if you're watching this down. I didn't get in in, in April. Okay, I've been in this for a long time and I don't need to sit, I don't need to run this risk. So knowing that, <clears throat> risk to reward, especially from this point going forward, with the deepest, biggest risk being going deep in this bull run, to get to 12K, I'm gonna have to take the biggest possible risk in crypto, go deep in this bull run. That's stupid, that's stupid. I'm not gonna wait till 10K and go, 10K and go deep into the bull run, I'm just not. So where can I get this 5X faster? All right, well, look, we got, a, we got a $4 billion market cap right here. For this, the 4X at this point, we're going to need to see it go to 1.2 trillion. Can that happen? 100%. I'm not going to talk even about the tech and the overvaluation at this point. But guys, Cardano, with the narrative coming up here in May, especially with the test net coming up, especially if you look at how the behavior was before the test, before going into the Mary Hard Fork, we saw this exact same thing right here. It's just going to be way easier for Cardano to go to 160 uh, billion. Now, if you, you can look at when I traded out and mostly into Cardano, you can go look at this on the YouTube video when I talked about it. Cardano was around 70 cents. I'm already at that 2x I was looking for in that investment well before Ethereum. So I was able to hit my goal faster by moving in the Cardano. And I believe Cardano is probably going to do another 2x here. That means I'm up 4x. I'm already hit that goal with Cardano, the 5x, whatever money I had at the time. I got dot at like $10. So like AVEX, for example, right here, I got in around like 23 bucks or whatever when JRNY was talking about it. I'm up a lot on it, okay? I'm up a lot. That being said, it's gonna be so much easier for AVEX to 5X from here. It just is, just simply, if, if Ethereum keeps going up, AVEX is gonna 5X. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not this month, it's probably gonna 5X. So knowing that with how easily these things are going to give better multiples faster, there's no reason for me to have my money in Ethereum with my objective. The risk, the reward is not there. I, my biggest risk is going deep into the bull run and losing all my gains. My, my, my best cost risk reward ratio is not being in Ethereum. So first off, no, I'm not, I'm not taking that argument right there. The volatility of Ethereum being a little bit like maybe 10, 20% less volatile than the other top 100s, that doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care. Okay? So let's look at January. All right, you're going to keep telling me, oh, you should have held Ethereum since January. 
You, you, you freaking thing. I don't even know how to talk to you because it's, it's, it's in, it's on the charts. You could pick any top 10 coin, any top 50 coin since January. Literally everything has delivered a better return in Ethereum. Literally everything, everything with around the same volatility. Okay. Like. Yeah, we've seen it go from twelve to eight dollars right here. This is this is very similar to Ethereum dips. Theta, what I got into around then. Literally, there is not a single coin I can I can go pick something as cheese ball as Tron, and we've seen much better returns in Ethereum. So no, you can't tell me in this reality holding it since January if you got in then was a good idea. You can't. You you just can't. Okay. What against what about against my trades? Okay, we can go look at a few of my trades. Seriously, you can look at the exact dates and time right here. Am I sitting around saying, hey, you know what? You should copy all my trades. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I am telling you a good stern, suck my fucking dick if you want to scream at me for trading out of Ethereum. This is just from my ho-hum NFT wallet, okay? We're, I'll mimic some trades in my other wallets and my trading accounts. Right here, curate, a bunch of ETH in the curate. I was moving around a lot into it right there. This was March 23rd. How did this trade turn out while well, Ethereum did nothing in this time span? How, how did it go? Oh my God, what, 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 what happened? It went from $3 to $9. A 300% ROI. Are you going to tell me that's a bad trade? You, you effing chimp. You effing chimp. Well, Ethereum was doing nothing right here. You're going to tell me this was a bad trade to do on the 23rd? Let's look at another one. You fucking cunts. Well, let's look at another one. All right. I told you everyone, Hey, I'm moving from a lot of my remaining other into OGN. People are like, Oh, moving in the corrupt coins. Let's look at what OGN did since March 22nd when I moved it in. Okay. And am I saying, yeah, I probably should have sold these ones at the top right here. Definitely. But you know, what's about to happen altcoin season. Only a, only an idiot would sell his, his, these coins right now, writing in the altcoin season. What happened March 22nd? It was that around here, March 22nd, around 86 cents, $3. Well, Ethereum did nothing. And then my other thing that I moved most of my Ethereum into, Engine, <sighs> you kidding me? I mean, you can see me moving literally into Engine since like March, okay? Even earlier than there, if you're looking at my other wallets, but just let's look at the ones we're talking about right here. Just the one that we can track, March 28th, literally right here, 250 cents, Right up here, just bow right before the coin best list. And you can't tell me these were these are bad trades compared to Ethereum while I was doing absolutely nothing. Now I'm up way more because I got in the engine and started getting in right here. But even if you look at the, the last trade into it, come on. And now we're going right in the altcoin season. You're gonna tell me you wanna be holding a thirty five hundred dollar Ethereum? You're nuts. You're nuts. And I mean this entire time I've been moving stuff into alts like this. And look, I'm not here to tell you I'm the world's greatest trader right here, okay? I, I wrote this up, the best trade would have been to write it up right here, boom, and then trade back into Ethereum. But come on, all right? So no, I'm not taking, I'm not, I'm not, um, no, there's no There's no reality where you can even pick on me. I'm up still 2X on these things, that 3 x and are likely probably 3X again. While well, Ethereum's at its absolute peak right now, probably about to correct and be boring for three months. So no, don't tell me that. What about total return? No, there's nothing, Ethereum's not gonna give you a better return than Avi, all right? You could literally pick any currency out of these top 10, Uniswap, Litecoin, uh, Solana, Theta, Avi, any of these ones right here. Not any of them. I don't know about that. Pancake swap. You could just go pick any of the top 50. It's going to give you a better return than Ethereum. No, that, 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 that doesn't work. And then tech wise, very questionable. Let's just leave it at that. It's very, very, very questionable. There is Solana working, Binance coin working, AVAX working, Elron working. Okay. And then there's significant threats like Polkadot and Cardano, significant threats to this technology on top of the fact that, you know what, the real world can't use this and there's no promise the 2.0 is gonna nail it. So again, no, that's it. That's why I won't touch it. Risk the reward. Let me put the glasses on. This is who you're getting crypto advice from. Look, risk the reward, no, it's not there. It's not there. There's no, there's no, there's no reality where you can tell me the risk to reward is better than some other coin. Like almost every other coin in the market is better risk to reward if the biggest risk is going deep in the bull run. 
If you're talking about buying since January, which most of you guys are, no. There's no world where the, the gains from any of the top 25 coins are not significantly better than Ethereum. If we're even looking at my trades, which I'm not saying the copy, even my trades, whoop the ever living crap. You could trade in anything though when I did the trades, <laughs> you'd be whooping the crap out of Ethereum. You could trade in the Dogecoin, you'd be whooping Ethereum. Literally, any trade, you'd beat Ethereum when I traded out. I'm not a genius for doing that. Any trade, any trade, you'd be up two, three X right now, nearly. You could talk about the, the total returns you're gonna get, no. And, and the world where percents matter over actual dollar gains, no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work, my friend. Look, Ethereum going from 3,000 right now to 12,000, that's a 4X gain. If I'm gonna stay deep into the blue run, I better see more than a 4X gain. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna go deep into the blue run just to see a nice 4X. I can, try, I, can, I can get that way easier, way sooner. Then finally, technology. That's the worst argument of them all. There's, there, that's the worst argument of them all for Ethereum, and I'm not even gonna dive into it because I've attacked it relentlessly. But I'm not talking about technology in this video. I'm talking about pure money gains. So all the people that are constantly going, no, Alex, you said, you said it's dead. No, I said it's going to 10K. No, Alex, you, it's a great thing to hold. No, it's not. Risk the reward. There's no advantage to it. No, Alex, you know, you, you should have been holding it since January. No, literally not. I should have bought any other coin since Ethereum. I would be up significantly more and already achieved my 5X if I bought almost any other coin than Ethereum. But Alex, you shouldn't trade out. No. No, the, the, if you look at numbers, my number is bigger than yours. There, no, I, I should have 100% traded out of it. It was 100% the right call, uh, especially going into all season right now where I'm up 2x and they're looking to go up. They're, they're looking to pump again. It, you, but Alex, the total, re no, no, just go put your money, do yourself a, f a favor and trade in the obby or something. It'll get a better return. Avax, Solana, uh, uh, Encore, BNB, everything will get a better return. I would, I would, I would, like I said, look, even ADA, which is very speculative, is probably going to get a better return. So no, but the tech, no, no, the technology is absolute garbage. It can't work. There's no use case for this. You can't even do NFTs in an appropriate fashion with it. The artists can't even put up their artwork on NFT things ran by Ethereum because it costs them too much and they can't sell their artwork at a profit when working in the Ethereum fees. It doesn't work at all in any reality except for DeFi DGENs who are trading cryptocurrency. It doesn't work at all. So no, don't talk to me about the technology. That's why I don't own ETH. You can own ETH all you want. I think it's going to go to 12K. And if you're willing to go deep into the bull run for Forex ROI, God bless you. I'm not going to do it. But if you're telling me that I'm stupid for not holding ETH, I don't know what world you're living in. I love you. I'm so thankful you watch this channel and I want nothing but gains for you. But I don't see things the way you do. Follow me at ZSS Becker. I love you guys. I love these chats with you. I'll talk to you real soon.